श्री हरि श्री श्री राधा विनोद बिहरि जो की जाए श्री गोविंद गोपीनाथ मरण मोहन जो की जाए नित्य विष्णु विष्णुपाय रशत रशत शिमर भक्ति वेदांत नारायण गोसाई महाराज सद गुरुदेव की जाए नित्य विष्णु विष्णुपाय रशत रशत शिमर भक्ति वेदांत वामन गोसाई महाराज की जाए नित्य विष्णु विष्णुपाय रशत रशत शिमर भक्ति वेदांत स्वाई महाराज सद प्रभु पार की जाए नित्य विष्णु विष्णुपाय रशत रशत शिमर भक्ति प्रज्ञान केशव गोसाई महाराज की जाए नित्य विष्णु विष्णुपाय रशत रशत शिमर भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोसाई प्रभु पार की जाए नित्य विष्णु महाभागवत शिल गोरकिशोर बाबा जी महाराज की जाए नित्य विष्णु शिल सच्चिदानंद भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर की जाए नित्य विष्णु वैष्णव सार्वभौम शिल जगन्नाथ दास बाबा जी महाराज की जाए श्री रूपान गौरिय गुरु वर्ग की जाए श्री रूप सनातन भट्ट रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भट्टदास रघुनाथ शार गोसाई प्रभु की जाए श्री स्वरूप दामोदार राय रामानंदारी श्री गौर प्रसाद वृंद की जाए नाम चय श्र हरिदास ठाकुर की जाए प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री आद्वैत गदाधार श्री वासरी गौर भक्त वृंद की जाए श्री क्षेत्र मंडल गौर मंडल व्रज मंडल मथुर वृंदावन धाम की जाए सर्व अभिष्ट प्रथ गिरिराज महाराज की जाए श्री राधा कुंद श्याम कुंद की जाए श्री ओन देवी गंगा देवी की जाए श्री तुलसी महारानी वृंद देवी की जाए श्री भक्ति देवी की जाए श्री पूर्णमासी योग माया की जाए श्री गोपेश्वर महादेव की जाए श्री हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जाए अनंत कोटि वैष्णा वृंद की जाए समागत गौर भक्त वृंद की जाए श्री श्री राशेश्वरी श्री विश्वभनु नंदिनी श्रीमती राधा ठाकुरानी की जाए श्री हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जाए अनंत कुटी वैष्णा वृंद की जाए श्री निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बो हरि बोल हरी बोल वन सेकेंड आई एम जस्ट posting in <laughs> the TT group tomorrow there okay <laughs> sorry i just i keep on forgetting to post in here so i just had to do it right as it came on my, right as it was on my mind okay If anybody wants to join this group by the way it's called TT countdown and I'm supposed to do it every day but I often forget I post this where you can see what days are coming up so we can see in one day from now in other words tomorrow is Brahma Dwadashi and Jeeva Goswami's appearance day then in two days Bhakti Vinod Thakur's appearance day three days from now Haridas Thakur Bhakti Vigyan Parati Goswami Maharaj four days from now Vishwarup Mahotsav Sanyas Dev Shri Param Gurudev and Shri Prabhupada then 6 days from now bhakti vilas chitra marriages disappearance day 10 days from now bhakti surup sadanti ko sai marriages disappearance day so if you want to always be aware of what titis are coming up in how many days the next 6 titis then you can join this group just let me know if you'd like to join and i can add you um yeah so far we have 95 people in it actually i'll just share this link right now here i'm pasting it here in zoom um oops sorry <laughs> one second okay so here it is in zoom and now i'll post it on youtube and i think it will post on facebook maybe not my personal page actually all right so um dandavat pranams karuna didi and rajbhuvan yadav ji and two other people watching on facebook or youtube and then kishor prabhu and kanika de uh, kanika didi hare krishna all of you and subhadra didi dandavat pranam <laughs> hare krishna everybody 
So if anybody has any requests of what Rad Radharani Kirtan to do, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just pick something myself. And, um, oh, maybe we could start off with this. Kishore Prabhu, yeah, I'm going to start off with this. Kishore Prabhu shared with me a very beautiful, beautiful um, recording of Srila Prabhupada singing. Um, Rade Jaya Jaya Madhava Dayate. So I'm just going to open that up and we can start with listening to that. Um, let me just find it. Kishore. There it is. It's one minute, one minute long. Yeah, I'll, I'll share my s the sounds now. And in the meantime, um, you can, if anybody has cure time requests, you can let me know in the comments. I'll mute myself. Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava Daite Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava Daite Gokula Taruni Mandala Mahite Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava Daite Dhamo Dharar Ki Madhana Bese Harini Skuta Binda Bipine Se Vishav Hanu Dodhi Navasa Sile Ke Lalita Sakhi Guna Ramita Bishakhi Karunam Kuro Mahi Karuna Bharite Sanaka Sanatana Bhannita Charite Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava Daiti I just You're on mute. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that was so beautiful, Kishore. Thank you so much for sharing that. It's such a beautiful melody. Wow. Ah, oh, that was nectar. Okay. So um, I'm just checking the comments one second. Uh... Hare Krishna, uh, Linda Friedlander. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to just choose something then because nobody wrote any particular kirtans. Um, so let's see what there is. OK. Oops, where is the songbook? There it is. OK, let's do this one, the one that comes after Rade Jai Jaya in the songbook. This is written by Srila Vishwanath Chakrabarti Thakur. Vande Shri Vishabhanu Sutapada. It's from the Gitavali section of Shri Stabamrita Sub, Lahari, Song 3. O daughter of Vishabhanu, Shri Radhika, I offer my obeisances to your lotus feet, which are the treasured object of lotus eyed Shri Krishna's vision. Glistening like spotless mirrors, your toenails put to shame the brilliance of millions of moons thus enchanting the Chokora bird of Sri Madhav's heart. Lakshmi Devi forever sings the glories of your lotus feet, which are beautified by auspicious marks. The Sakis, headed by Sri Lalita Devi, anoint your feet by hand with crimson pigment. Giridhari Krishna carefully serves your lotus feet, which always decorate his thoughts. Your lotus feet are expert in expanding the flow of ras by dancing in the ras lila. Wow, it's so beautiful, huh? Whole song about Radharani's feet. Especially love this last verse. Giridhari Krishna carefully serves your lotus feet, which always decorate his thoughts. 
Your lotus feet are expert in expanding the flow of ras by dancing in the ras lila. Jai. Okay. Just making sure I have... Okay. Noise suppression shut off. It's off. Oh, wait, and I just see now in the chat. Um, okay, Radhana, Radhanam Parama Sukhada. Yes, we can do that also. Sapan 
Vandita Vande Shivrisha Vanu Sutta Pada Vande Shivrisha Vanu Sutta Pada Kamala Nayana Lochana Sampada Na Kamala Nayana Lochana Sampada Vande Shri Vesha Bhano Sutapada Vande Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Jaya Radhe, Jaya Radhe, Jaya Radhe, Jaya Shri Radhe, Jaya Radhe, Jaya Radhe, Jaya Radhe, Jaya Shri Radhe, Hare Bol, Hare Bol. Okay, so um, I think we'll, we can end the program with uh, Radha Nama Parama Sukhadai. And with Maha, yeah, that would be a nice way to end. Uh, Hare Krishna, Champaktidi, and Ri Hari, and Pavatarani Mataji. Thunderbutt pronouns, everybody, <laughs> all of you. Let's see. Yes, and Rajbhuvan Yadavji, Ravi Sani. Oh, this is Vrinda Didi. Hari Bo, Vrinda, Hare Krishna. Okay, so now let's see from the treasure chest of Radha Katha from our Acharyas, what will we read today? This, there's this uh, beautiful book, Shri Radha, Our Supreme Shelter. Um, I think we can read from that today. All right, so there's so many song, uh, so many things here. We already read some Harikata from my Guru Dave, so um, let's see. Although we could read more from my Guru Dave, let's see what else there is. Also, Shri Radha Sarup by Bhaktivinoda Thakur. We, I, I read this article, Sri Radhashtami, the day of her advent. Did anybody here uh, see that video or read the article? Anyways, that's, that's like a better quality article. Like I practiced each sentence before I said it, you know, like it, it, I spent time on it, so it could be nice. Um, then there's this Radhashtami article by Param Gurudev. I think, yeah, I think we should read that. My Guru, Gurudev would be happy if we read that. <laughs> So let's read that one. This article, Radha Pray Makes Krishna Mad, is just, oh my god, it is such an amazing article by Srila Gaur Govinda Goswami Maharaj. But it's really long also, so I don't think we're going to read that. It's too long. Okay, so let's let's read this one. Sri Radha Sarup, and then we'll read my Param Gurudev's Sri Radha Ashtami article. And then we'll see how much time's left over. Okay. One second. Let's type this in. Shiradasarup. 
Okay, yeah, this will go through the qualities of Shrimati Radhika. Great. That's a nice thing to read. Okay, I'm just gonna make the text big so you can see it nicely. And this is an excerpt from Jaiva Dharma, chapter 33. I think this is also in Ujjala Nilamani. This is like kind of a synopsis of Ujjala Nilamani. Yeah, it is, because I, I worked on it. I remember reading about this. All right, just putting this down. <clears throat> One day, Vijay Kumar and Rajanath took bath in Indra Dumna Sarovar, and upon returning to the residence, they honored Prasad together. Rajanath then set off to have darshan of Shri Haridas Thakur Samadhi, while Vijay Kumar came before the lotus feet of his Gurudev at Sri Radha Kant Mat in Jagannath Puri. When he, um, when he saw that the time was appropriate, he posed some, que he posed some questions about Srimati Radhika. So Vijay Kumar asked, Prabhu, Sri Vishabhanu Nandini is our be all and end all and our very life's breath. I cannot express it. I do not know why my heart melts when I just hear the name of Sri Radhika. Oh, Hare Krishna Shubhananda Prabhu. I didn't notice you before. Um, so yeah, I don't know why my heart melts when I hear the name Srimati Radhika. Although Sri Krishna is our only refuge, still, I only like to taste the playful pastimes that he performs with Sri Radhika. My mind does not want to hear any Krishna Kata that does not mention Srimati Radhika's name or discuss her pastimes. What can I say? Now I am not at all pleased to introduce myself as Vijay Kumar Bhattacharya. I am overjoyed to call myself Sri Radhika's Palya Dasi, her affectionately sheltered maidservant. Another surprising thing is that I have no desire to speak Vraj Lila Kata to those who are Krishna Bahir Muk, who are reluctant to serve Krishna. I want to get up and flee from any assembly where, where those who are not Rasik describe the glories of Sri Radha Krishna. Goswami. Anyway, um, this is, is this Raghunath Das Babaji? I, I, I think we just read it. Think so, right? Raghunath Das Babaji? Anyways. Um, so Goswami. You are most fortunate. As long as one does not have complete conviction in being a Vraja Ramani, he is not, oh no, this isn't uh, Raghunath Das Babaji. God, uh, we should have added that, who he was talking to. I think it's Gopal Guru Goswami. It's Gopal Guru Goswami. Okay. I think. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that this that that's kind of an essential thing we should have put in here in this book. Maybe in the next edition we can add that. Okay, so Gopal Guru Goswami. He says, You are fortunate. As long as one does not have complete conviction in being of Raja Ramani, he is not qualified to enter into the descriptions of Shishi Radha Krishna's Lila Vilas. What to speak of those in male forms? Even a Devi has no eligibility for Radha Krishna Kata. I have already discussed Krishna's beloved consorts with you. Radha and Chandravali are the, mo are the foremost amongst them, and they both have millions of yutas, millions of groups of fresh adolescent gopis. At the time of the Maharas, Hundreds of millions of charming young gopis took part in the Rasa Mandal and expanded its beauty. Vijay. Prabhu, let Chandravali have her millions of yutas. 
<laughs> but please show mercy to me and tell me about Srimati Radhika's glories so that my contaminated ears may be purified and filled with ras. I have taken full shelter of you. Gopal Guru Goswami. Aha, Vijay <laughs> of Radha and Chandravali. Sri Radhaji is Mahabhav Swarupa. She is the complete embodiment of the highest love of Mahabhav. And she therefore excels Chandravali in all qualities and in all matters. Look, in the Tapani Shruti, she has been called Gandharva. In the Rik Parishishta, um, the supplements to the Rig Veda, there is a description of the immense brilliance of Madhav when he is with Radha. In the Parma Puran, Nara Ji has also said, just as Srimati Radhika is the most beloved of Krishna, similarly, her kund is also equally dear to him. Of all the gopis, Sri Radharani is the most dear to Krishna. What an unprecedented and astonishing tattva this Radha tattva is. Among all the various shaktis of Bhagavan, the supermost maha shakti is called Ladini. Radhika is Mahabhav Swarupa, the embodiment of the condensed essence of that Ladini. How does that verse go that um, her kund is also equally dear to him? Um, it's very, it's a famous verse. We quote it all the time. Uh, I just can't think of the first word. Anyways. Um, so Vijay says, what an exceptional tattva. <laughs> now please describe Sri Radha Swarup, her form. Goswami, in all respects, Srimati Radhika is the most beautiful of all Sri Krishna's beloved consorts, Shushtu Kanta Swarup. And she is adorned with 16 Shingar, with 16 decorations and 12 Abharan, 12 ornaments. Abharan, sorry. What is the meaning of Sushtu Kanta Surup? Goswami. Sri Radha's Surup is so beautiful that there is no necessity of decorated of decorative embellishments. Her unparalleled loveliness is expanded by her hair, which is a mass of elegant curls, by her lotus face, by her large restless eyes, and by her beautiful breasts. The extraordinary beauty of her sarup is increased many times over by her slender waist, by her two exquisite shoulders that are slightly lowered, and by her flower bud hands, <coughs> which are embellished by the jewels of her fingernails. There is no comparison to her beauty in all the three worlds. What are the 16 Shingars? Goswami, uh, that's Vijay asks, what are the 16 Shingars? Goswami. Her 16 Shingars are her bath, the radiance of the jewel decorating the tip of her nose, her blue garments, the belt about her waist, her braid, her earrings, the sandalwood paste smeared on her limbs, the arrangement of flowers in her hair, her garland, the lila kamal, the play lotus in her hand, the tambul in her mouth, the dot of kasturi on her chin, and uh, the kajal around her eyes, the pictures drawn in mrigamada and um, drawn in musk on her rosy cheeks, the red lac on her feet and the tilak on her forehead. Srimati Radhika is always beautified by these types of decoration. Vijay, what are the 12 abharana, ab, abharanas? Goswami, the 12 abharanas that decorate Sri Radha's limbs are the exceptionally brilliant jeweled tiara upon her head, her golden earrings, the golden belt upon her hips, the golden necklace, the valli and golden shalaka on her ears, the bracelets on her wrists, the ornament on her neck, the rings on her fingers, her pearl necklace, her armlets, the jeweled ankle bells on her feet, and the rings on her toes. Vijay, please show compassion to me by describing Sri Radha's prominent qualities. Goswami, 
Like Sri Krishna, Srimati Radha, Srimati Radha also has innumerable qualities, among which 25 are prominent. Okay, so the 25 qualities of Srimati Radhika. One, she is sweet, she is madhur, that is, she is incomparably beautiful in appearance. Two, she is an ever fresh youth. Three, her eyes are restless and inclines to give sidelong glances. Four, she has a radiant, gentle, and sweet smile. Five, she has beautiful lines indicating auspiciousness. Six, she maddens Krishna with the fragrance of her bodily limbs. Seven, she is expert in the musical arts. Eight, she speaks sweetly. Nine, she is expert in making jokes. 10. She is very polite and modest. 11. She is merciful. 12. She is cunning. 13. She is expert in all duties. 14. She is shy. 15. She is always steadfast on the, on the path of righteous conduct. 16. She is patient. 17. She is grave, so that it is very difficult to understand the import of her mind. 18. She is fond of enjoying pastimes. 19. She is acutely eager to manifest the supermost excellence of Mahabhav. 20. When the residents of Gokul see her, their hearts immediately overflow with prem. 21. Her fame pervades the entire universe. 22. She is the object of her superiors, of her Gurujan. 23. She is controlled by the intense love, the pranai, of her sakis. 24. She is prominent among all Krishna's sakis. 25. Keshav always remains submissive to her orders. In our New Braj village school, when I was, when I was in school there, um, Gopanandini Mataji, uh, Prem Pradeep's mother, she, on Radhashtami, she gave each, each student one of these qualities, and they had to draw a picture, like a full-page picture depicting those qualities. And so we, and we had a lot of time to do it. So everybody made beautiful pictures on each one of these 25 qualities, and then we put it up all over the wall. And so, yeah, I remember that. That was really nice. Like you got to see a visual representation of each one of these qualities of Shimati Radhika throughout the whole year. It was just like in, in the, actually for years, I think we had, it, had them all on the wall. Okay, Vijay. I want to know in detail about the elegant lines that indicate her immense good fortune. Goswami. According to the Varaha Samhita, Jyotish Shastra, Kashi Kanda, and the Puranas, such as the Matsya Puran and Guruda Puran, these are the auspicious lines on, signs on her left foot. There is a barley corn at the base of her big toe. Below that, I'm just, I'm not going to read the numbers, I'm just going to say. Below that is a chakra, um, a disc. Below the middle toe is a lotus flower, and below the lotus is a banner and a flag. There is a line curving up from the middle of the sole to the right side of the middle toe, and below her little toe is an elephant goad. Do you want to see a picture of that? Let's look. There definitely is pictures on YouTube. Um, let me Okay, where is it? Um, signs on Sri Radha's feet. Okay, let's see. That looks a good quality one. Oh, it's not such good quality. Anyways, whatever, that will have to do. Okay. There. Can you see that? So we just did... Where's the barley corn? Okay. So that was the left foot. <laughs> okay, now we're going through the right foot. The signs on her right foot are as follows. At the root of her big toe is a conch shell. 
see there's a con shell. Um, sorry. Um, at the root of her big toe is a con shell. On her heel is a fish. Actually, why don't we have this side by side? That's better. I should have done that from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, now let's reread this. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to work out these windows. Okay. Okay, let's start over. So on um, at the root of her big toe is a conch shell. On her heel is a fish. And below her little toe is an altar. Above the fish are a chariot, a mountain, an earring, a club, and the mark of Shakti. Okay, now we come to her hands. Let's find um, signs on Radha's feet, signs on Sri Radha's hands. Oh, this one looks good. Let's open this up. Okay. All right, you can all see that now. Let's go through this. On her left hand, a long line extends from the points where the index finger and middle finger meet to below the little finger. Another, another line begins from below the long lifeline and extends to the place between the index finger and the thumb. Below the thumb, a curved line extends from the wrist to the space between the thumb and index finger to meet with the middle line. On the tip of her thumb and each of her fingers is a chakra. The three lines plus the five chakras make eight signs all together. Then below the ring finger is an elephant. Below the lifeline is a horse and below the middle line is a bull. Below the little finger are an elephant goad, a fan, a shri tree, a victory column, an arrow, a javelin, and a garland. On the right hand, just as on the left, there are three lines beginning with the lifeline. In addition, there is a conch shell on the tip of her thumb and, each of her, and on each of her fingers. That makes eight signs all together. Below the index finger is a chamar. Maybe I'll blow this up so you can see this bigger. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so below the index finger is a chamar. And below the little finger are an elephant goad, a palace, a dundubi drum, a lightning bolt, two carts, an archer's bow, a sword, and a water pot. Since there are seven signs on the left foot, eight signs on the right, 18 on the left hand, and 17 on the right, all together, there are 50 auspicious signs indicating ex supreme fortune. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, one second. Let me just. Okay. Vijay. Are these symptoms not possible in others? Goswami. These qualities are present in the jivas, the, in the living entities to a very slight degree, and they are somewhat more in the devis but they are all fully manifest in Sri Radhika. All of Sri Radhika's qualities are aprakrit, they are all transcendental, because these qualities are not present purely and completely in anybody in the mundane world, even in goddesses such as Gauri. Vijay, aha, Sri Radhika's virtues are inconceivable. One can realize them only by her mercy. Gopal Guru Goswami, how can I express her glories? 
what is there to compare with the beauty and qualities that perpetually bewilder even Krishna himself? So that was an excerpt from Jivadharma chapter 33. All right, so now we'll move on to this article by my Param Gurudev Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Gosai Maharaj, Sri Radhashtami. Yes, okay. And this is, um, this is from a lecture that my, that, Srila Bhakti Bhagavan Keshav Gosai Maharaj delivered at Devananda Gauriyamat in Navadip on Radhashtami, 3rd September 1965. And it was also published in a Gauriya Patrika issue of that same year, 1965. So when Srila Prabhupada had just arrived in the West, right? Yeah, yeah, he had just arrived in the West, like just around this time. No, 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 no. He was still in the boat. He arrived in the West on September 13th, right? Or September 14th or something like that. So he was on the boat while this was happening. Okay. Today is Sri Radhashtami. This is the next Ashtami Titi half moon after Janmashtami. Today we shall speak about Radhashtami, the glorification of the Ati Martya, the transcendental life and character of my Guru Par Parma, is the principal subject for discussion on this Radhashtami day. Wow, isn't that amazing? <laughs> my, let's see what the footnote says here. Um, it says, Only through the medium of Sri Guru can one come to understand Srimati Radharani, for he is intimately related to her as her personal associate and is our only connection with divinity. My Guru Pad Padma, Sri Srimad Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada, is situated here in his deity form in the Sri Mandir of Sri Devananda Gaudiyamat. We come across many Paramahamsas in this world. After due deliberation, however, we can perceive that they are not eligible to be compared to even an ordinary anksha of an anksha or a part of a part of this great personality, this great, this Mahapurush. <clears throat> Nevertheless, such persons are honored by the foolish masses of this world. Most of them do not have the qualification to be measured against even those who have attained but a single particle of dust from the lotus feet of this Mahapurush. <laughs> Therefore, many people address my Guru Par Parma as Parmahangsa Churamani, the crest jewel among the Parmahangsas. I do not have any objection to this, but still, in my opinion, he is in fact Parmahangsa Kula Swami. He is the master of the family of Paramahamsas. He's not just the crown jewel of Paramahamsas, he's the master of Paramahamsas. His eminence is such that he instructs even them. Therefore, he is celebrated as Jagar Guru. Isn't that so beautiful how, how, my God. <laughs> okay, in Navadip, <clears throat> Many Ras Leelas take place these days. According to the teachings of this Mahapurush, we know them all to be vulgar. These are the expressions of the jealous thoughts of many people who are devoid of Shastric knowledge. Therefore, to educate the general masses in the teachings of Shastra, we have been holding a Krishna Leela Pradarshini, an exhibition of Krishna's pastimes since Janmashtami. Actually, in Navadip, I think I've, I've mentioned this before, but um, the Ras Purnima um, is probably the biggest function, like the biggest festival that happens in Navadip, like throughout the entire year. And they all worship Kalima 
on like every street and everybody gets completely drunk and they play really loud music and it's actually dangerous to go outside at that time because everybody's just completely like super drunk <laughs> and they'll do anything like they're, they're like and so yeah it's a really crazy time it's like it seems like during that time also they would i, I wonder if that's what he's referring to this many rasleelas take place these days and that's just my guess okay so and then th this is a big part of their culture let's let's see the footnote so in 1965 a, a beautiful dioramic display of Sri Krishna's pastimes was set up on Janmashtami at Sri Devananda Goriamat, officially named Krishna Lila Pradarshini. It was due to remain until Radhashtami. Pradarshini means exhibition. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and you see, during, during that time, that was like a big preaching tool that they used. Everybody would come. Oh, um, my f friend says that it's not just Mahali, it's any Dev or Devi of their choice in Navadip that they worship. Okay. Um, so, yeah, this is a very prominent part of the, the preaching um, uh, and during that time, was they'd make these big exhibitions. And you can see in many Gaudiya Mats, actually, and if you go to Bhakti Saranga Goswami Maharaj's Mat, he has a whole Pradarshini thing there. Um, in, in front of Chaitanya and Chaitanya Gaudiya Mat, there's a whole Pradarshini at the front. And actually, even in our Keshavji Gaudiya Mat, um, Premananda Prabhu, he made like r very full on huge Pradarshinis. And all throughout the day, um, people are coming now um, to, to, to see it, like all day, there's large groups of people who come to see these Pradarshinis, these dioramas. So, um, the word Pradarshini is used in various ways, and using it here, we do not refer to mere fun and entertainment. Pradarshan means Prakrishta Rupena Darshan, thorough and complete Darshan. Oh, just, I'm just remembering, has anybody here been to, um, to Keshavji Gaudiya Mat during my Gurudev's time on Janmashtami Day? Because the whole bottom downstairs was full of these massive Pradarshinis and it, it, would, like, it would have electrical, like they do like a, um, like I, whatever you say, like, a, you know, whatever. And, and he would do the same thing. He would have them up and uh, yeah, anyhow. So, but, but Pradarshan means Prakrishta Rupena Darshan, thorough and complete Darshan. In other words, Pradarshan is seeing and understanding thoroughly. Our, our only conception, our only vichar is that, is that which the philosophically minded Goswamis have stated regarding Sri Krishna's appearance. The meaning of Pradarshani is Prakrishta Vichar, thorough and complete consideration or understanding. Thus, the true understanding of Sri Krishna's birth should re be revealed. This Pradarshini lies within the realm of philosophical instruction, and, and it is theistic. I am strongly against the Ras Lila of the naked mother Kali that takes place in Navadvip. This Pradarshini has been open until today, Sri Radhashtami. There is one lunar fortnight, one puck one paksha between Krishnashtami, Krishna, Krishnashtami and Radhashtami. Thus, the dark fortnight, the Krishna paksha, and the bright fortnight, the Shukla paksha, have united to become a single paksha. The two fortnights have become one. They tend towards a single entity. Janmashtami Titi has become illuminated today on Shuklashtami, that is, Sri Radhashtami Titi. The service of those who worship Krishna outside the guidance of Radharani is valueless. Smartas do not observe Radhashtami. According to Kala Vichar, consideration of time, Krishnashtami and Radhashtami have been taken together and regarded as a single fortnight. Oh, wow. Kishore is just explaining um, regarding the Pradarshanis that Bhakti Kamal Madhusudan Goswami Maharaj, he came to the Gaudiya Mat um, that way. 
Yeah, because they wouldn't just, they would have brahmacharis there come and explain the pastime and explain the deep, the prakrishta rupena darshan, right? The, the, the um, like my Pam Guru is saying, the, the deep um, meaning behind each one of these pastimes. And it would leave a deep impression because people actually see the pradarshani while they're hearing this harikata. So it wasn't just an exhibition that people would walk through, but they would all get harikata um, while looking at it. Okay. Vedanta Sutra states, Shakti, Shakti Matayor Abheda. There is no difference between the energy and the energetic. All Shakti has emanated from a toenail of Radharani. Uma, Rama, Satya, and all other goddesses have appeared from her toenails. All the goddesses that are found in Bengal, such as Kali, Ka Kali and Durga, have come from Radharani. People can worship various goddesses who are anxious, fragments of potency. However, by excluding the Mul Shakti, the original potency, their worship is entirely worthless. Mahaprabhu is none other than Radha and Krishna. With Mahaprabhu's mantra, the worship of Radha and Krishna are performed. There is no fault in this. Many people may ask why Krishna, Radharani, and Gaur all have white complexions in this temple. <laughs> yeah, people thought, well, is he trying to save, save money on marble because black marble is a lot more expensive than white marble? But no. The answer to this is that we are Radha Pakshiya. We are partial to Srimati Radharani. Srila Prabhupada, the Mahapurush situated in this, in this temple, is Radha Pakshiya. In all countries of the world, people know him as Prabhupada. Indeed, we perform his arati here first of all. It is recommended that the arati of this Mahapurush be performed throughout the world. If his arati is stopped, the entire globe will be devastated and will descend into the hellish planets known as Rasatal. Bhakti Dharma will disappear from the world. Therefore, the world calls him Prabhupada. <laughs> wow, that's this, this glorifications of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Prabhupada in this article are just unparalleled. I entreat those who perform the ras of the naked mother, Kali, not to come here and hear my kata. I will be happy if they do not hear me analytically explain the tattva of what Prabhupada means. They have descended to such a low level that they will have to wait many hundreds of thousands of lifetimes before they can understand this Radha Tattva. <laughs> See how all the smarter Brahmins and all that were really, it's like they were so antagonistic towards Param Gurudev. He was brutal <laughs> in his condemnation of them. Radha Rani sometimes possesses Vamya Bhav, a contrary mood towards Krishna which enhances the variety of her service to him. Once, Radharani was feeling jealous anger. She's feeling man. Being absorbed in thoughts of his beloved in this condition, sorry, being absorbed in thoughts of his beloved in this condition, Krishna took her on, uh, Krishna. He was so absorbed in her that he took on her very complexion. And then this is a verse that my Param Gurudev composed himself. Here, I'm just, we can sing it. We're done, First verse of Radha Vinod Bihari Tattvashtakam. Oh Radha Chinta Niveshena Yasya Kantir Vilopita Shri Krishna Charanam Bande Radha Lingita Vigraham Radha Chinta I worship the lotus feet of Sri Krishna, who, by being absorbed in anxious thought of Srimati Radharani, has assumed her golden figure. And, and, and 
my Gurudev's uh, Bhavanuvada on this, is Sri Krishna's immersion and separation from Srimati Radhika, who is in Man, who is in jealous anger, intensifies to such a point that he assumes her golden complexion. Alternately, Radha Alingita means he finally embraces Srimati Radhika after her man is broken. So there's Radha Lingita. He, he takes on um, the, like her golden feature. Or Radha Alingita. He finally embraces her after her man is broken. Two meanings. This conception is explained in the opening verse of Sri Radha Vinod Bihari Tatvashtakam. The word Radha Alingita has two meanings. Radhaya, uh, wait, that should be a short A there. <laughs> Radhaya Lingita and Radhaya Alingita. Lingita means marked or bearing a sign or impression. And Alingita means embraced. In this phenomenal world, we see that when a Kanchapoka, a type of bright green insect, catches a telapoka, a telpoka, um, a Kanchapoka um, catches a telpoka, a variety of cockroach, the telpoka becomes so absorbed in thoughts of the Kanchapoka that it, become, it begins to resemble its predator. Accordingly, it is illegitimate and against the conclusion of Shastra to assert that one can become Brahma by performing sadhana. Um, one second. Okay, sorry. The Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti never preaches such bogus philosophy, Ku Siddhanta, to the world. By absorption in the features of the absolute truth, a person may attain a form like that of the Lord, Sarupya Mukti, but he will not merge into the Lord, Sayujya Mukti. None who actually knows the purport of the Vedas can claim or demonstrate that the practitioner, that the sadhak, becomes one with the object of his practice, he becomes one with his sadhya. The Kanchapoka and Telpoka never merge to become one insect. They merely become similar in form. This is an instance of Sarupya Mukti, not Sayujya. Sarupya Mukti means having the same form of the Lord, but not merging in the form of the Lord. Deeply absorbed in Vipralamba Bhav, the mood of separation, Krishna was overwhelmed by thoughts of Radharani, and he lost his own complexion. In other words, his black luster disappeared, and he assumed Radharani's hue. This indeed is Radha Lingita Vigraha. This Vigraha is manifest here. This tattva is explained in the Swapna Vilasamrita of Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, the king of Rasik devotees. My Guru Pad Parma has revealed it to the world from the very core of his heart. Srila Prabhupada was Radha Pakshiya. Among those who serve Vipralambaras through the topmost path of bhajan, that is Ragmarg, most will meditate upon Radharani's they will meditate upon Radharani's separation from Krishna. However, my Guru Pad Padma, Srila Prabhupada, he used to meditate on Krishna's separation from Radharani. We don't want to see Radharani's separation from Krishna. We want to see Krishna's separation from Radharani. Just like we sang yesterday in those two songs, um, Rajavipane and Shatakoti Gopi. That's, that in our line, this is what we want to see. We want to see Krishna crying for Radharani. I want to clarify this with an illustration. When Sri Krishna is engaged in a, comp in a competitive sport with Radharani, those who are Radha Pakshiya, they always think about her victory and Krishna's defeat. Her victory is the, their sole desire and purpose. And when Radharani wins, they experience profuse bliss and clapping their hands, they declare, Krishna has lost, what a joy. <laughs> But those who are Krishna Pakshiya are overcome by sadness. There's a verse by, uh, maybe we can sing that verse afterwards. There's a verse by Rupa Goswami in Gandhara Sampartanashtakam, which illustrates this. 
My Guru Pad Parma used to think more about Krishna's feeling separation from Radharani than Radharani's feeling separation from Krishna. And her separation from him, Radharani, is stricken by grief. This type of perfection in Vipralamba Bhav is cherished by ordinary people. However, Srila Prabhupada's mood was entirely opposite this. It is indeed Krishna who, deeply immersed in thoughts of Radharani, has lost his complexion and become Radha Lingita Vigraha, taken on the color of his beloved. Sriman Mahaprabhu has in all respects preached and instructed this type of Vipralambaras only. Let Krishna remain absorbed in his meditation on Radharani. This alone is the ideal of the Sri Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti. What's the ideal of the Gaudiya Vedanta Samiti? The sole ideal? It is that Krishna remained absorbed in his meditation on Radharani. <laughs> Many people have... We, yes. We even see with Srila Prabhupada, that was the way Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada would talk to Krishna. He said, Krishna tava punya habe bhai. Your, your, your punya will only happen when Radharani is pleased with you. And so th this I declare to you with utter conviction, <laughs> Krishna. <laughs> So we want, that's what we want. That's our mood. Many people have requested that the Krishna Lila Pradarshini continue for a few more days. Therefore, by the request of the locals, this exhibition will be extended until Akadashi. Akadashi is the day when Radha and Krishna meet. Just as Krishnashtami Titi is Bhagavan himself, so too is Akadashi Titi. Whereas Radhashtami Titi is Bhagavan's Parashakti, his supreme potency, which is non-different in tattva from him. Except from a lecture delivered at Sri Devananda Gaudiya Mat Navadip on Radhashtami, 3rd September 1965, published in Sri Gaudiya Patrika, year 17, issue 9, also 1965. Translated by the Rays of the Harmonist team for issue 13, um, the issue entitled Love, Kartik, 2003. Okay, so let's sing that verse from. That's my. One second. How does it go? Vagyuda Keli Kutuke Vajarajasunam. There it is. So Srila Rupa Goswami prays. When, in a prankish mood, you defeat Vrajendra Nandan in a battle of words, you become exceedingly jubilant. You exult in the pride of your oratory prowess as you are extolled by your overjoyed sakis. When will I behold you in such a state? Vagyuddha keli kutuke braja raja suno Jitvan madam adhika darpa vikasi japam O fulla bhir al bhir analpa mudirya mana Stotram kadanu bhavatem <laughs> ah, that was a beautiful article, wasn't it? Uh, okay, what time is it? It is 8.06. Okay, so we still have some time. Maybe now we can read something from Srila Prabhupada. Um, let's read this one. Okay, Knowing Krishna's Energies by Shishimar Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is um, an excerpt from a book called Elevation to Krishna Consciousness, Chapter 5. Never heard of that book before. I'm just checking the comments really quick. Oops. Oh, whoops. Um, oh, Haribo Kishori Mohan Prabhu. <laughs> and Haribo Rukmini Didi. Oh, yeah, I got the feet mixed up. The left foot is on the right. Picture, the right of the picture. Yeah, I got that mixed up when I was looking at them. Okay, so Srila Prabhupada arrived on se September 17th. Okay. 
All right, so now let's go over this article by Srila Prabhupada, Knowing Krishna's Energies. We are Krishna's parts and parcels and have been created to give pleasure to Krishna. The chief pleasure potency is Radharani. And so Radha and Krishna are always together. Whereas the material energy is conducted by the external potency, Maya, the spiritual world is conducted by the internal potency, Radharani. We often pray to Radharani because she is the pleasure potency of Krishna. The very word Krishna means all attractive, but Radharani is so great that she attracts Krishna. If Krishna is always attractive to everyone and Radharani is attractive to Krishna, how can we imagine the position of Srimati Radharani? We should try humbly to understand and offer her our obeisances, saying, Radharani, you are so dear to Krishna. You are the daughter of King Rishabhanu, and you are Krishna's beloved. We offer our respectful obeisances unto you. Radharani is very dear to Krishna, and if we approach Krishna through the mercy of Radharani, we can attain him. If Radharani recommends a devotee, Krishna immediately accepts him, however foolish he may be. Consequently, in Vrindavan, we find that devotees chant Radharani's name more often than Krishna's. <laughs> Wherever we go in India, we will find devotees calling, Jai Radhe. We should be more interested in worshipping Radharani, for however fallen we may be, if somehow or other we can please her, we can very easily understand Krishna. Radhika Dasi Jadi Hoy Abhiman Shigrai Taba Gokulakan. If we try to understand Krishna by the speculative process, we will have to spend many lifetimes of speculation. But if we take to devotional service and just try to please Radharani, then Krishna can be very easily realized. Radharani is such sorry, Radharani, Radharani is such a great devotee that she can deliver Krishna. She can deliver Krishna. Even Krishna cannot understand Radharani's qualities. He fails to understand her because she is so great. In order to understand Radharani, Krishna actually accepted her position. Krishna thought. Although I am full and complete in every respect, I still do not understand Radharani. Why is that? This obliged Krishna to accept the propensities of Radharani, and this accounts for his manifestation as Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself, but he is Krishna accepting the propensities of Radharani. Radharani is always feeling separation from Krishna, and similarly, in the position of Radharani, Lord Chaitanya was always feeling that separation. Furthermore, those who follow the teachings of Lord Chaitanya should experience and relish they should experience and relish the feelings of separation, not of meeting. The Goswamis, the disciples of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the most perfect and highly elevated beings, they never said, I have seen Krishna. Instead, they constantly cried. Where is Radharani? Where are Lalita and Vishaka and the other damsels of Vrindavan? In their mature stage of love of Godhead, when they were living in Vrindavan, the Goswamis would also cry, O oh Radharani, where are you? Where are your associates? Where are you, O son of Nanda Maharaj? Where are you all? In this way, they were searching after Krishna, and they never at any time said, Last night, I saw Krishna dancing with the gopis. <laughs> Such claims are not made by a mature devotee, but they are only made by one who takes things very cheaply. What's that song? <laughs> no mature devotee would sing that song. Last night, I, say, I saw Radha Sham in a dream. <laughs> That's a very common Vajrasi song that you'll hear. Um, some people think that Radha and Krishna are so cheap that they may be seen every night. But this is not the teaching of the Goswamis who are always searching after Krishna, crying, Where are you? 
Where are you, Radharani? Where are you, Krishna? Are you there by Govardhan Hill? Are you on the bank of the Yamuna? In this way, throughout the whole tract of Vrindavan, the Goswamis were crying and searching after Radha and Krishna like madmen. Maybe I should turn on, turn on noise suppression once again. <laughs> oh no, he's going away. Never mind, okay. Um, so yeah, the Goswamis are crying and searching after Radha and Krishna like madmen. We have to follow in the footprints of the Goswamis and search out Radha and Krishna in this way. Vrindavan is in our hearts and we must search for him there. This is the process recommended by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the process of worship and separation. <coughs> Feeling separation from Krishna, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would throw himself into the sea. Sometimes he would leave his room in the dead of night and disappear. No one would know where he had gone, but all the while he was searching after Krishna. Thus, it is, um, thus, it is not that we are to enjoy the loving exchanges between Krishna and Radha like spectators at some sports show. We must feel separation from them. The more we... This is such an important um, point that we shouldn't just... Um, we shouldn't... We, are, we aren't there to... In, we aren't the enjoyers of the loving exchange, <laughs> exchanges between Radha and Krishna like, like some spectators at a sports show. Like, we, we can fall into that with Harikata, you know? Like, we'll be telling pastimes of Radha and Krishna, but are we actually feeling a longing to serve those pastimes? Are we feeling separation from that? From, or is it just like entertainment for us? Um, and, and so lots of times, Harikata, like the, these high, high, high Harikata, you know, these intimate pastimes of Radha and Krishna, people talk about them, but it's, it's more just like enjoyment you know, entertainment. And so, no, we have to feel separation from them. The more we feel separation, the more we should understand that we are advancing. So how do we tell how we're, that we're advancing? To the extent that we're feeling separation, to that extent we're making progress. With our material senses, we cannot see Krishna, nor can we even hear his name. We can begin to perceive him when we advance in devotional service. That devotional service begins with the tongue, not the legs, eyes, or ears. The tongue must be utilized to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, and take Krishna Prasadam. <laughs> I love Srila Prabhupada's kata. Thus, the tongue has a dual function, and by utilizing it in this way, we will realize Krishna. We cannot see Krishna with our material eyes, nor hear about him with material ears, nor touch him with our hands. But if we engage our tongue in this and his service, he will reveal himself, saying, Here I am. <laughs> Jai, that was beautiful. This is the essence of all instructions, right? What is it? Tanam rupa paritadi sukhitan manu smritya kramena lasana manasini yoja tishtan vajetir tadanuragi jananugami kalam nayir akilam ittu padesha saram What time is it now? Is it 8.30? It's 8.17. Oh, we still have more time. Great. Um, okay, so we read this one already. Maybe let's read oh, Srila Vaman Goswami Maharaj. Srila Vaman Goswami Maharaj's one is really beautiful. Here, or two. Let's, let's read from my Gurudev. We'll end with Harikata from my Srila Gurudev Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. Okay, so which one should we do? What should we read? Subject, no, that one's just a little bit about Radharani. Um, Radhe Jaya Jaya Madhava Daite. Oof, this one's long. Uh, these are all really long. Is there something that's shorter? 
Okay, that one we read before. Krishna also takes shelter of Sri Radha. Wow, these are all very long. Um, anyhow, let's read this one. Krishna takes shelter of Sri Radha. And this is something that my Gurudev spoke in Mathura Keshavji Gurdiyamat on Radhashtami morning, 4th September 2003. Okay. And maybe I might skip around a little bit. We'll see. We'll see how we're doing on time. Okay. So Sri Krishna also takes shelter of Sri Radha. Just one quickly looking at the comments. Okay. Oh, Haribo Ganga Mataji. <laughs> okay. Sri Jayadeva Goswami knows Sri Krishna's heart and he knows the prayers that please Sri Bhagavan. Sorry, and he knows that the prayers that please Sri Bhagavan um, the most, what pleases Bhagavan the most? It is those um, prayers that are connected to his pastimes with the gopis especially those um, related to Shrimati Radhika. Therefore, he begins his kirtan with the words, Shrita Kamala Kuchamandala Dritta Kundala E. Shri Krishna is the foundation, the sustainer and basis of the entire universe and all living entities. His name, form, qualities, and pastimes are all incomparable. There is nothing equal to or greater than his glories. All living entities meditate on him and take shelter of him. Yet, Krishna, Sri Krishna also takes shelter. <laughs> Who does he take shelter of? Srimati Radhika. Shrita Kamala Kuchamandala. Krishna, Krishna is taking shelter of Srimati Radhika. The word Kamala generally means Shri, Srimati Lakshmi Devi, or the goddess of fortune. Yet here it refers to Shri, Srimati Radhika. Lakshmi Devi has no direct relation with Rajendra Nandan Shamsundar. She has a distant relationship with him. Srimati Radhika carries a lotus in her hands, therefore her name is Kamala. It is this Radhika that Krishna takes shelter of. When Sri Krishna goes to the forest to graze the cows, surrounded by his many thousands of cows and friends, Srimati Radhika and her sakis stand some distance away and perform archan of him, not with paraphernalia, but by their loving sidelong glances. At that time, catching the arrow of Srimati Radhika's glance, Krishna cannot remain on his feet and he falls unconscious. Srila Prabodhananda Saraswati Thakur has explained in the Sri Radharasa Sudhanidhi, verse 39. My Gurudev loved to quote this verse. Um, one second. Venum karani patitam skalitam shikandam Vrashtam chapita vasanam vrajarajasunam Yasya kataksha sharaghatla vimurchitasya Atam radikam paricharami kadarasena As Krishna was on his way to go cow herding, Radhika threw a sidelong glance at him that pierced him like an arrow. It went straight into his heart, and at once his vangshi fell from his hands. If you want to memorize this verse, also I made a special thing for memorizing it. Um, if you go to vineofdevotion.com and you go, oh, anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll sh I can show you after. If anybody's interested, I can show you later. So Sri Krishna begins to faint, being shot by the arrow of Srimati Radhika's glance. He falls to the ground, and Madhu Mangal brings him back to consciousness. Then taking, shelter, then, taking the shelter of Kamala, Srimati Radhika, he is able to stand. He takes shelter of her breasts, the, her topmost limb, which is the abode of all the universe. Dhrita Kundala, 
all the living entities in the universe can find satisfaction and fulfillment by remembering and using their ears to hear about Krishna's form, qualities, and pastimes. But how does Krishna find his satisfaction and fulfillment? His happiness lies in hearing about the name, the form, qualities, and pastimes of Srimati Radhika. Krishna wears kundal, he wears earrings, which are none other than the embodiment of Srimati Radhika's fame, qualities, and glories. Srila Rupa Goswami mentions in Ujjvala Nilamani, O Lord, I pray that this sapphire-like poem, which, um, that this sapphire-like poem may become suitable to decorate your shark-shaped sh your shark earrings and increase your good fortune. <laughs> Thus, Srimati Radhika's fame is the ornament for his ears. Dritta Kundala. Kalita Lalita Vanamala. Kalita means very beautiful and astonishing, and it refers to Sri Krishna's garland of forest flowers, his Vanamala. That garland is made by Srimati Radhika from Beli, Chameli, and Juhi flowers, and also from Tulasi, Tulsi leaves and Manjaris, and it extends from his neck down to his feet. This Vanamala is surrounded by hundreds of bees singing Srimati Radhika's glories. It is not an ordinary garland, and it, re and it represents Srimati Radhika's glories, which Krishna wears around his neck. <laughs> All that, what we read just now, from beginning to end just now, is my Guru's explanation of just the first verse of Mangala Gitam. Isn't that just mind blowing? And it's all like when you read it, you don't think. I mean, I don't. I don't think it's so much of the glories of Shrimati Radhika, but it's. It that's what it is. Okay, now verse two. Dinamani mandala mandana bhava khandana e. The general meaning is that Krishna is like the sun, which ornaments the universe. His presence gives beauty to it. Bhavakandana refers to he who puts an end to material existence and suffering, and one's material existence will be terminated by remembering his name and pastimes. Yet, upon meditating on it, a special deep meaning has manifested in my heart. Dinamani means the sun. Its deeper meaning is implied in the Brahma Gayatri. I meditate on that personality who is the effulgence of the Supreme Lord and who is honored and worshipped by the sun. Who is this personality that is honored by the sun? The sun gives light and life to this universe, but it is not the root cause of it. Just as the effulgence we see, just as the effulgence we see emanating from the moon is not coming from the moon itself, but from the sun, it's, and it's reflected on the moon, right? The, the moon is a reflection of the sun, the light coming from the moon. Similarly, the sun is not the direct source of life and light. In reality, the origin of the light and life that is channeled through the sun comes from the Sarup Shakti or Hladini Shakti. It is she who is honored and worshipped by the sun. This is inferred by the words of Pargo Devasya Dimahi. In the, Brahma, in the Brahma Gayatri Mantra. Devasya refers to Bhagavan Sri Krishna, and Bhargo means power. Krishna's supreme power is the Sarup Shakti, or the Ladini Shakti. It is that supreme power upon which I meditate, Dhimahi. So, Dinamani Mandala Mandana means Srimati Radhika is the controller of the sun. How does she control it? She is Raseshwari. She is the controller of Ras Lila. Shri Krishna is not actually. Shri Krishna is not actually the controller of. Uh, he is not the controller. He is not Raseshwar. No, <laughs> it's Shrimati Radhika. She is Raseshwari. He may be present with all the other gopis in the Ras Lila, but if Shrimati Radhika is not there, there can be no Ras Lila. As soon as she left, the Ras Lila stopped, and Krishna also left it to search for her. This is narrated in the Geet Govinda. And we also sang it from the songs by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Varaja Vipine and um, Shatakoti Gopi. 
Thus, she is indeed the controller of the sun and of the entire universe. Dina money can also be used to describe Sri Krishna as the jewel, as the money, or the sun, of the Ras Mandal. When Srimati Radhika leaves Ras Lila, Krishna feels separation from her. Here, Bhav Kondan does not mean that Krishna breaks the cycle of material existence, but rather, his own feelings of separation are only pacified and removed by the company of Srimati Radhika. <laughs> See right here, my Gurudev's showing an example of what, what we've just read from my Param Gurudev, that this is what we want. We want to see Krishna feeling separation from Srimati Radhika. That's what we're focused on. That's what we want. We don't want to hear about Srimati Radhika's separation from Krishna. We want to hear about Krishna's separation from her. And so, Bhava Kandana means that Krishna's Bhava, his his whatever his suffering in this material existence well whatever i don't know how you'd explain it like that but um his it's kandan it's this is referring to krishna his separation is only pacified um when he's in the company of shrimati radhika <laughs> okay now muni jana manasa hangsa generally this means that krishna is a swan he is a hangsa who plays on the cool lake of the hearts of the munis who are who meditate upon him. Here, Muni has a deeper meaning and refers to Srila Shukadev Goswami. Krishna is like a swan in the Muni's heart, but Srimati Radhika is more prominent in his heart. She is the actual hangsa, she is the actual swan. When Srila Shukadev Goswami spoke Srimad Bhagavatam, he established the subject matter with verses glorifying Srimati Radhika. This is the evidence that the ultimate subject matter of the Srimad Bhagavatam is the glory of Srimati Radhika. In various verses, Srila Shukadeva Goswami reveals how Krishna always has Srimati Radhika in his mind. This is, my Gurudev once said that this is his favorite verse of the Srimad Bhagavatam. And we see, well, why is it? Krishna, it's again, Krishna, it's, you know, in his separation from the um, gopis, and then he finally comes there and he says, You are. Let's see. Naparaye ham niravadya samyujam svasadukritam vibudayu shapiva yama bajandur jaya ge hashinkala samvrish jatarva pratiyatu sadhuna. Okay, this is Krishna glorifying the gopis and especially Srimati Radhika. Shrimad, in Srimad Bhagavatam, um, Canto 10, Chapter 32, Verse 22. This is after the Gopi Geet. Krishna comes and he says, my, dear, my darling gopis, your meeting me is innocent and immaculate in every respect because it is devoid of even a single iota of desire for your own happiness. It is overflowing and supremely pure love. Although the bonds of affection for the members of one's own home are impossible to overcome, you have completely demolished them. Thus, for loving service to me, you have transgressed the moral laws of this world. Even if I lived as long as the gods, I would be unable to requite even one drop of your love, sacrifice, and service. All of you may free me from this from debt simply by your own gentle nature. But I am forever the debtor of your prem, and will always continue to be. Muni also refers to Sri Shri Jayadev Goswami himself, and also to the four Kumaras because they always keep the Ashtakaliya Lila, the pastimes performed throughout the eight periods of the day and night, they always keep the Ashtakaliya Lila of Shishi, Radha, and Krishna in the core of their heart. It also refers to Sri Shankarji, because he also is absorbed in the Ashtakaliya Lila of Srimati Radhika. Right? Like we, like, like, um, the, we, we have the example of him singing, Munindra Vinda Vandite Triloka Shoka Harini Prasanna Bhakti Pankaje Nikunjabu Vilasani and also there's another song. What is it? Grihe Radha Vane Radha. Yeah. Therefore, Sri Jayadev Goswami writes, 
Jai Jai Deva Hare. All glories to my Ishta Devi, my worshipful deity, Srimati Radhika. <laughs> All the verses of this song are glorifications of her. Wow, so that was just my Guru's explanation of the first two verses. But all the verses of this song are glorifications of her. Shri Jaya Deva Kaveri Dham Guru Te Mudam Mangala Mujala Gita Jaya Jaya Deva Hare Shri Mangala Gita verse 9. Sri Jayadev Goswami completed his song with a request. Please bestow auspiciousness and mercy upon all the people in this universe through this song. At the end he writes, Mangala Ujvala Gitam. This song is auspicious and radiant. Does this refer to Sri Krishna or someone else? It only refers to Srimati Radhika. This song, this Gitam, is Unata Ujvala. It is radiant and auspicious. Unata Ujvala is the loving paramour mood of Srimati Radhika. The term Unata Ujvala Ras applies to Srimati Radhika only and not to Sri Krishna. Although Sri Krishna is the object of this Ras and therefore relishes it, its origin and reservoir is Srimati Radhika. Therefore, in concluding, Srila Jayadev Goswami is again offering pranam to his, worship, his worshipful deity, Srimati Radhika. Krishna does not have the Unat Ujvala mood. Only Radhika has it. In order to obtain this mood, he performs many austerities, and taking shelter of her, he took birth as Sri Shachinandan Gorhari. Unat Ujvala uh, Gitam is therefore the kirtan of the glories and mood of Srimati Radhika, the worshipful deity of Srila Jayadev Goswami. Then the assembled devotees then chanted Shri Radha Kripa Kataksha Stavaraj and Shri Nanda Nanda Nashtakam, after which Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj reveals the deeper meaning of some of the verses. It's 8.35 now. Let's see, how much longer is this? Not so much longer, so let's just, let's we'll just finish. Yeah. Okay. Ananta koti vish. Sorry. Ananta koti vishnu loka nam nam rapar majar chite he madrija pulo maja virin shaja vara prade apara siddhi. Pridhi dekta sat padanguli na ke kada karisha si hamam kripa kataksha bhajana. Shri Radha Kripa Kataksha Savaraj, verse 11. O you who are worshipped by Lakshmi Devi, the mistress of unlimited Vaikuntha planets, and who bestow benedictions upon Parvati, Indrani, and Saraswati, even one of the nails of your lotus feet gives rise to an infinite variety of spiritual perfections. Oh, when will you make me the recipient of your merciful sidelong glance? Srimati Radhika is worshipped in countless universes by all great personalities. Even Parvati Devi, the daughter of the Himalayas, Pulomaja, who is Shachi Devi, the wife of King Indra, and Virinchaja, who is Saraswati, are the are Gayatri, the wives of Lord Brahma. They are all dedicated to worshipping her. They are all seeking Srimati Radhika's blessings. She is the ultimate bestower of all boons and benedictions. In her toenails alone, there is so much potency. All perfections and mystic powers are there. If we leave aside worship of her to worship any other, what will we gain? It is only through her that we may worship Krishna. Worshipping Krishna alone will not render the desired fruit. Therefore, bhajan of Srimati Radhika is the topmost. Apara siddhi riddhi digta satpadanguli nake. All potencies and all types of perfection emanate from the effulgence 
or rays of just one toenail of Shimati Radhika. Makeshwari Kriyeshwari Swareshwari Sureshwari Trivera Bharateshwari Brahmana Shashaneshwari Rameshwari Shameshwari Pramodakananeshwari Vrajeshwari Vrajadipe Shri Radhike Namastute Vrajeshwari Vrajadipe Shri Radhike Namastute Verse 12 O mistress of all kinds of sacrifices, of all activities, of the mantras uttered during yajna, of all the gods, of the teachings of the three Vedas, of the enforcement of all scriptural principles, of the goddess of fortune, of forgiveness, and of the delightful forest of Vrindavan. O mistress and empress of Raj, O Srimati Radhika, I offer pranam unto you. Krishna is called Nanda Nandan and Vrajendra Nandan, and he is also referred to as the prince of Raj. However, the actual Ishwari, the actual controller and master of Raj, is Srimati Radhika. In the Sri Nanda Nandanashtakam, there is the following verse. Rajangana sunayakam sadasuka pradayakam jagan mano pralobhanam namami nanda nanda nam. So the last verse, the, verse 8. The exquisite lover of the damsels of Raj always bestows happiness upon all living entities and enchants their minds. I offer pranam to that Sri Nanda Nandan. Rajangana refers to the gopis of Vrindavan, among whom Srimati Radhika is most prominent. Sunayakam means that Sri Krishna, in his form of, Dhir Lalit, of a Dhir Lalit Nayak, is under the control of Srimati Radhika. She is the Nayika. Sadav Sukha Pradayakam. The general meaning is that Sri Krishna gives happiness to everyone, and the special meaning is that Srimati Radhika gives happiness to him. Jagan Mana Pralobhanam. Sri Krishna awakens greed for Prem Bhakti within the heart of everyone. Sri Radha Kripa Kataksha Stavaraj is sung to give him happiness, and Sri Nanda Nandanashtakam is sung to give happiness to Sri Radha. By singing the glories of Krishna, one can attain the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. And by singing her glories, one can attain the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. Shalanatam Das Thakur writes, Krishna Nama Gane Bhai Radhika Charana Bhai Radha Nam Gane Krishna Chandra Radha Nam Gane Krishna Chandra That's the fourth verse of Radhika Charanarini. O brother, by chanting Krishna's name, one attains the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. And by chanting Radha's name, one attains Sri Krishna Chandra. Still, Srila Bhaktivinu Thakur prays, O Radha Paksha Chari Jejana Shejan O Radha Paksha Chari Jejana Shejan Je Bhave She Bhave Thake Ami To Radhika Paksha Pati Sada Ami To Radhika Paksha Pati Sada that's Vishabhana Sutta, verse 4. Let anyone aside from Sri Radha's party be as they are. I am, an indeed, sorry, I am indeed always partial to Radhika, and I never look upon those who are not. <laughs> the mood of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas is that they are not interested in associating with people who, who worship anyone other than Srimati Radhika. 
they will not even look at Krishna without her. This is called the Rupa Nuga Bhajan. Today is the day before Srimati Radhika's birthday. Therefore, under the guidance of Srila Jiva Goswami, Srila Rupa Goswami, and Sri Jayadev Goswami, we pray at her lotus feet to one day obtain her mercy. Hey, this is a mistake. It says this is given on Radhashtami morning, 4 September 2003, but here it said, my guru said that today is the day before her birthday. Anyways. Um, Jai Shri Vrishabhanu Nandini Shrimati Radha Thakurani Ki Jai. <laughs> wow, so much nectar. Rad Radhashtami Kata is like the top Kata there is. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, okay, thanks for pointing that out. We'll fix that, um, Rukmini Didi, in the next edition. We misspelled uh, principles. I wonder, yeah, I wonder what the Rukmini Didi said. I wonder what the four Kumaras wrote about Chimati Radhika, Sanaka Sanatana Varnita Charite. Yes. All right. And we have our... <laughs> to, our, to participate in the class, we have our <laughs> old, uh, old village lady. She, she's here for all the Harikata also. <laughs> Doesn't matter, even if you're not able to understand Harikata, whatever language it is, it has potency. All right, so um, Kishore, Kishore Krishna was requesting that we sing Radha Nama Parama Sukadai. And that's, yeah, very beautiful kirtan. It's probably my favorite probably one of the best Hindi kirtans there is. <laughs> also, my Gurudev's Vajradana Mana Subhakari is amazing. Okay, so let's sing that. Radha Nama Parama Subhadai. And then we'll end the program for today. Radha Nama Parama Subhadai. There it is. Okay. Radha Nama Parama. Oh, I'll read the translation first. Radha's name confers supreme joy. May thoughts of Sri Shama, Srimati Radhika, gather wave after wave in my mind. Incessantly singing, uh, incessantly chanting Radha, I will live out my life. To the gopis of Raj, my head will remain bowed. For their, for their glories are indescribable. I will never leave Raj to go elsewhere, and I will gain the darshan of Rasik saints, thereby removing my affection for the world. I love that last verse. I'll never leave Raj to go elsewhere, and I'll gain the darshan of Rasik saints, thereby removing my affection for the world. Let me make the text bigger. <laughs> Hare Bhavandari, Hare Prabhu, Hare Krishna, thank you. Yes, these are wonderful readings, this is most nectarian, Jai Jai Shri, Jai 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 Shri Radhe. <laughs> okay, so we'll sing this kirtan and end. Oh Radha Nama Parama Sukadai Radha Nama Parama Sukadai Radha Nama Nama Parama Sukadai
since it's already eight or nine o'clock, I'm just going to do short Jai. No, I'll do both. Oh, Kishore. Would you like to do Jaidvani? Jai Nadiyalela Pravishtam Vishnu Bhar Paramaham Sabri Vrajakachari Varya Astotrashta Shishman Bhakti Vigyan Bhariti Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai 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 Nadiyalela Pravishtam Vishnu Bhar Paramaham Sabri Vrajakachari Varya Astotrashta Shishman Bhakti Vranda Shila Nara and Goswami Maharaj Pari Pavan Gurudev Ki Jai Jai Nadiyalela Pravishtam Vishnu Bhar Astotrashta Shishman Bhakti Vilaptir Ta Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Nathyalela Pravishtam Vishnupar Stotrashta Shishman Bhakti Viran Bhaman Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Nathyalela Pravishtam Vishnupar Stotrashta Shishman A.C. Bhakti Viran Swami Goswami Maharaj Shila Prabhupar Ki Jai Jai Nathyalela Pravishtam Vishnupar Stotrashta Shishman Bhakti Doita Madhu Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Nathyalela Pravishtam Vishnupar Stotrashta Shishman Bhakti Pragyan Kesha Goswami Maharaj Param Gurudev Char Keshari Ki Jai Jai Nathyalela Pravishtam Vishnupar Stotrashta Shishiman Jagar Guru Shilabhakti Siddhanta Sarasuri Goswami Thakur Prabhupar Ki Jai Jai Sabrikar Shilaprabhupar Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasuri Goswami Thakur Ki Jai Jai Maha Param Bhagavar Parvar Paramahamsa Shishimar Gaur Kishodas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Saptam Goswami Shilasa Chirananda Bhakti Minar Thakur Mahashai Ki Jai Jai Vaishnav Sarvoma Shishila Jagannath Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Sri Kundavas Shilamad Sudandas Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Sri Udavadas Udaran Das Ki Jai Guru Vidan Acharya Shilabali Dev Ryabhushan Prabhu Ki Jai Mahamuha Pridhyaya Rasika Shilamani Shilabhishna Chakrapati Thakur Par Ki Jai Shila Rasikanan Muradi Dev Gusami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Ramachandra Kaviraj Ki Jai Sri Lochandas Thakur Ki Jai Shilandaro Tam Das Thakur Mahashai Shri Nivas Acharya Shamananda Pandit Prabhu Trai Ki Jai Shila Krishna Skabraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shila Vyas Sabatar Har Arikavi Shila Vrindavan Das Thakur Ki Jai Shri Krishna Skabraj Ki Jai Shri Ashta Kaviraj Vasura Janva Nityananda Durshakbal Shri Chaushati Mahanta Ki Jai Jai Shri Rup Shri Sanantan Bhattar Gunath Shri Jiva Gopal Bhattar Asar Gunath Shargo Shami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Sarup Dhamda Raya Ramananda Lokanath Bhagarava Adhikaur Parishar Vrind Ki Jai Namachary Shilaharidas Thakur Ki Jai Prem Se Koho Shri Krishna Chai Tanya Pravinatyananda Shri Adveda Garadhar Shiva Sri Gaur Bhakti Vrind Ki Jai Shri Ishwar Paripad Marvindra Paripad Ki Jai Shri Andar Deep Mayapur Samandip Godram Deep Madhya Deep Kholi Deep Vritya Deep Janu Deep Madhra Dhamma Deep Rudra Deep Matmaka Shri Navri Dham Ki Jai Shri Ek Chakra Dham Ki Jai Shri Shantipur Dham Ki Jai Shri Gaur Chandra Bhagavan Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopinath Gopi Gopa Go Giri Govadan Varshad Varan Maka Shri Braj Mandal Dham Ki Jai Shri Radha Kun Sham Kun Ganga Sakhi Amana Sakhi Tulisi Bhakti Dev Ki Jai Jai Vrishabhanu Nandini Shmati Radha Rani Thakuran Ki Jai Jai Shri Lalita Vishaka Chitra Champaglata Tungvita Indulika Rangarevi Sudevi Arisak Yubrind Ki Jai Shri Ananga Prema Manjalali Shri Rupalamanga Raghvila Sagunarati Kasturi Adi Manjari Vrind Ki Jai Shri Kamala Manjari Devi Ki Jai Shri Nayanamani Manjari Devi Ki Jai 
श्रीमति वृंद देवी की जय श्री भागवती पूर्णमा शिव माय देवी की जय श्री गोपीश्वर सर शिव महादेव की जय जय श्री जगन्नाथ बलिदेव सुभद्रा सुदर्शन चक्र नीलमाधव जी की जय श्री जगन्नाथ परि पुरुषोत्तम क्षेत्र मंडल नीलाचल धाम की जय जय सर्व विकनाम नशन गुरु भक्त विकनाम नाश श्री नृसिंह देव की जय भक्त राज भक्त प्रवर शिवलाल महाराज की जय श्री हरिदाम श्री संप्रदाय श्री आचार्य श्री मधवर मनोज विश्व स्वामी निमृत श्री आचार्य की जय जय श्री अकर्ण मातरा श्री चैतन्य मार की जय श्री गौरी मार वृंद की जय नंदरा श्री मार भगवता भगवदगीता चैतन्य चरितामृत चैतन्य भगव जैव धर्म अधि सर्व गौरी वैष्णव वृंद वृंद की जय श्री भुवन मंगल श्री हरिनाम प्रभु की जय श्री भुवन मंगल श्री हरिनाम संकीर्ता युग धर्म की जय श्री भूर मंगल धन्य कलु तर्क ब्रह्म श्री हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे महामंत्र की जय श्री आनंद गुरी वैष्णव वृंद की जय श्री समगत गौर भक्त वृंद की जय जय हमारे स्वामिनी श्रीमती राधिका महारानी की जय श्रीमती राधिका रानी की जय वृंदावनेश्वरी ब्रजेश्वरी वृषभान नंदिनी श्रीमती राधा रानी ठाकुरानी के जय बोलो जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे जय जय श्री राधे श्याम हिताय गौर प्रेमानंदे हरे हरि भो जय हो वृंदाय तुलसी देवाय प्रियाय केशवाशिचा कृष्ण भक्ति पद देवी सत्यवताय नमो नमः पंच कल्पतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम दंदवाणाम मेनी दिवोरीज थे सो हियर अन जूम चंपक दीदी किशोर प्रभु सुभद्र दीदी शुभानंद प्रभु नृहरि प्रभु भवतारणी माताजी एंड देन अन यूट्यूब एंड फेसबुक आई सी दर्ज अलेवेन पीपल वॉचिंग Karuna Didi, Raj Bhuvan Yadav Ji, uh, who else? Um, Vrinda Didi, uh, Kishore Mohan Prabhu, um, Cristiano Luna. Um, oh, where are all these articles from? Um, they're from that book, Shri, Shri Radha, Our Supreme Shelter. You've seen that book, right? Published by GVP. Um, and then Sudevi Didi, Pradrumna Prabhu, Mantra Murti Mataji, Rukmini Didi, um, Ganga Mataji, and other devotees ashu singh uh hari bol <laughs> and other devotees dhanyavad pranams to all of you um thank you so much for joining and tomorrow we will be reading all about shri vaman dwadashi uh, so we'll read the glories of vaman dev and we'll read the glories of shri jiva goswami because it will be his appearance day and day after tomorrow shri bhakti vinod thakur Day after that, Hari Das Thakur and Shri Bhakti Vigyan Parati Goswami Maharaj. Day after that, Vishwarup Mahotsav and Sanyas Day of Shri La Prabhupada and, and um, my Param uh, Bhakti Vigyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. So, yes, I, hopefully you can make it all four of those days. We can sing kirtans and read their glories. All right, Hari Bol, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, and Rukmini Didi is saying that tomorrow is the appearance of Induleka Saki there. Very interesting. Huh. Okay. Cool. Induleka Saki's appearance is 3 days after Radhashtami. Okay, that's good to know. Hopefully I don't forget tomorrow because then we can say it and mention it in the Jadwani. I'll make a note of that. Induleka Saki. Induleka Saki. Okay. Cool. All right. Tanda vat pranams everybody. See you all tomorrow. Jai Shri Radhe. Oh, and Kishore can't speak on Vishwarup Mahotsav. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe after the Chaitanya Bhagavat reading, you can make a little, a, a small glorification then, because the day after Vishwarup Mahotsav will resume our regular Chaitanya Bhagavat reading. All right. Hari Bol, everybody. Dhanavat pranams.